Hey everybody, okay, let's go ahead and go over our review deck. Suffix y means full of, like, or having the quality of, somewhat. So there's a lot of different um, definitions for the suffix y. Um, suffix let means small or article worn on. So like a small star would be a starlet. And a wristlet is an art something worn on the wrist. Suffix ly is like, how, or occurring. So if you're walking in a in a sad way, you're walking sadly. Okay. Or how quickly are you going? How um, you're going quickly or slowly. And occurring on a daily basis or weekly or yearly or monthly. Okay. Suffix ing. Ing means happening now. Suffix s is plural, more than one. Suffix er -er means more or one who. So if you're shorter, you're more short. If you are a baker, you're one who bakes. Suffix est, est, means the most. So if you're the most slow, you are the slowest. Suffix less means without. Suffix ed has three sounds and they say ed, d, and t. That mean, and suffix ed means already happened. It happened in the past. Suffix ist, I-S-T, is one who. So a ca cartoonist is one who makes cartoons. Suffix ish, I-S-H, is a nationality. So you could be British and you're from Britain. Impfish means to do mis mischievous things for fun, or childish, you're acting like a child. Suffix n means made of, so if it's made out of wood, it is wooden. Okay, so here's our sounds. Concrete, e. Box, x. Balloon, b. Cube, u. Hose, o. Goat, g, equal e, fish, line, o, whale, p, hook, u, duck, k, tooth, u, hat, overalls, o, pig, p, nest, n, Dog d. Acorn a. Vest v. Icicle i. Elephant e. Sheep e. Umbrella a. Uh. Turtle er. Shark sh. Jar j. Dime i. Cat. Rabbit er, tent t, sun s, monkey m, unicorn u, chef sh, star r, kite k, butter er, octopus ah, doctor er, zebra z. Apple a, inch i, feather v, thimble th, dollar er, wagon w, rose z, cake a, anchor k, bird er, staple pull, quilt qua. Yarn, y. Cheese, ch. Horse, or. Bubble, bull. Ring, ng. Candle, dull. Bugle, goal. Bottle, toll. Nat, n. Ruffle, bull. Phone, th. Cry, I. 
candy E. Leaf E. Thread A. Steak A. Not N. Wreath er. Mouse owl. Soup oo. Cow owl. O o. Rain a. Hey a. Circle s. Oil oi. Poi oi. Light I. Patch ch. Sight words come. Said. Could. Something. Some. There. Into. Of. A. Don't. Do. You. Today. Together, tomorrow, was, eight, are, full, from, four, where, one, push, two, the, should, there, what, push, your, won't, would, have, want, were, who, been, trouble, says, does, very, love, to, any, by, done, every, Many, none, only, people, put, gone, guess, ocean, question, young, trouble, again, against, answer, enough, friend, Hey, we have some new sight words that we're going to learn about today. America, animal, early, earth, finally, government, heard, learn, several, usually, and that's our last one. So let's go to our lesson for today. To start off with, we have an activity sheet. In this kind of activity sheet, we put the words in ABC order. So to start with ABC order, we look for the words that have an A. Do we have an A? What about a B? We're looking at the first letters. C, we have C. And this word says crimp. How about a D? E, F. We do, we have three F's, so how, to, how do the F's go? We have to go to the next letter for the F's. We have F-E, F-A, and F-R. A comes before E, and then E comes before R. E-F-G-H, oh, here's an H. I-J-K-L-M-N-O-P-Q-R, okay? Really quickly, we just put those words in ABC order. Okay, going over to, over to our high frequency words, we're gonna write down some sight words, so echo after me. Number one, again. A-G-A-I-N. Number two, again. A-G-A-I-N-S-T. Number three, answer. A-N-S-W-E-R. Number four, enough. E-N-O-U-G-H. 
Number five, friend, F-R-I-E-N-D. Number six, gone, G-O-N-E. If I'm going too fast, please just pause the video, okay? Number seven, guess, G-U-E-S-S. -S. Number eight, ocean, O-C-E-A-N. Number nine, question, Q-U-E-S-T-I-O-N. And number 10, young, Y-O-U-N-G. These are all sight words. You have to memorize how to spell them and say them. Our sentence, if you need to pause, please pause the video, but our sentence is, it was summer and Jan went fishing. Capital I for it. Was summer. And Jan, capitalized for Jan, because that's her name, went fishing. Okay, pause the video to catch up. We're going to go ahead to our new words. We already read these, but let's look at them again. So echo after me. Animal. America. America is capitalized because this is a proper name of our country. Early. Earth. Finally. Government. Heard. Learn. Several. And usually. Don't forget in your student dictionary we have our high frequency words on page if they're called sight words on page 40 so we have all of our sight words starting on page 40 all in abc order so if you ever need help with a sight word you can look in your dictionary on the back of our sheet you just these are some more words and some of the words that are review but um make sure you read and practice spelling these words and then use them in a couple of sentences okay i know we're going kind of quick but it's just sight words we've learned these before um these are just new words that we're learning so in winter on our earth life slows down many trees go to sleep early while they live off the food stored in their trunks seeds wait in the soil for winter to pass Animals such as bears and snakes sleep in their dens. In North America, the air feels cold most of the time, and sometimes it snows. Most birds finally fly south for the winter where it does not get so cold. What time of the year does life slow down? In winter, life slows down. Answer to question one. In winter... Where do bears sleep? Bears and snakes sleep in their dens. Answer question two. A good title for this would be, um, let's say maybe winter time. Okay, because it is talking about winter or hibernation, or life during the winter. Okay, anything is good right there. Why do birds fly south? And usually a title is something whatever most of the paragraph is about, or most of the story is about. It's not, this is not, a good title for this would not be how to walk my dog, okay? Because it has nothing to do with walking dogs. Why do birds fly south? So birds finally fly south for the winter where it does not get so cold. To, um, they fly south for warmer weather, right? To find warm weather. Or 
They fly south where it does not get so cold. On the back, same thing. This is your homework, so make sure you read the story and answer the questions, okay? Anytime in the video that I was going too fast, please just review the video again and pause where you need to, okay? Hopefully everyone has a great weekend um, and week, and um, I'll see you guys later, okay?